What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another classic completion episode. Today, we're going to be focusing on Fighting Vipers. This game was originally developed and released in 1995 by Sega. They used the Virtual Fighter 2 engine to make the game. However, they added some armor mechanics and changed up the characters. It was also released on Sega Saturn, just like Virtual Fighter 2, and it was remastered along with Virtual Fighter 2 in 2012 for the Xbox Live Arcade. The game has 15 achievements and offers 400 gamer score. It's going to take us about 30 to 40 minutes to get our full completion. The game is backwards compatible, so if you have Xbox One, you can download it on there. The regular price is $5. However, it was recently on sale for $2.50. But even at $4.99, it's a good purchase going to get you an easy completion and 400 gamer score all right so let's go ahead and get into it the first achievement we're going to go for is the class of 94 achievement to do this you need to go to the arcade and then during the settings screen what you want to do is hold x and then press a to enter that is going to put it in attract mode which is basically the demo mode you'll know that you did this because it'll have the credits in the beginning uh, sequence of the game that should trigger your achievement for five gamer score Next, you want to hold up and then press start. This is going to put it in random mode. You'll know if you did it because it'll say random mode above the character name. So as you can see, mine says random mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick the character. Your achievement will pop once the match starts up. It's going to be worth 20 gamer score. That's the random mode achievement. After that, we can go ahead and press start. We're going to go to exit game. And then we're going to start up arcade mode once again. Make sure the difficulty is on easy round count 2, and then time limit 10 seconds. Now we want to enter attract mode again, the demo version, so hold X and then press A at the setting screen. You'll know you did it right if the credits show at the intro sequence. Once you're in the demo mode, you want to hold left trigger and then press start. This is going to activate ranking mode. You'll know that you activated ranking mode because it'll show it on the upper left hand side of the screen. Once you're in ranking mode, all you need to do is finish both of the rounds, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit through this footage just to get through it. Once your ranking mode uh, match is over, you're going to pop your achievement for ranking mode once it gets to the result screen. That's going to be worth 20 gamer score. After you pop that achievement, we can go ahead and go to exit game. And then we're going to start up arcade mode once again. But this time you want to hold LB and RB and press A at the setting screen. This is going to activate kids mode. You will know if you activated it correctly because they all have big heads. Okay, next we're going to go for the achievement for using the secret character. So the character selection screen, you want to hover over the first character, Grace, and then move the cursor to the left. There's a secret character to the left of Grace. His name is Mahler. After you start up a match with Mahler, you're going to get your achievement for 60 gamer score. Next, we can go back and start up arcade mode once again. But this time, you want to hold up and then press A at the setting screen. Right now we're going for the Sweet Tooth achievement. This is for Candy's appearance. The way that we get this is by simply holding up and pressing A at the setting screen. After that, you're going to have to watch the whole intro sequence along with some like example fights. After that, your achievement is going to pop. Okay, so next we're going to be going for the Who Needs Armor achievement. This one is going to be a little tricky for some people. During battle, you're going to have to enter a cheat code. The cheat code is right, left, right, left, left trigger. But you have to enter really fast, you guys. So really what you want to do is just keep moving the stick from left to right really fast and then keep spamming L. This will eventually uh, do the cheat code and you'll realize that it worked because all of the armor will break off. Now at the character selection screen, you want to pick one of the female characters. I don't know if the armor breaks off of the uh, male characters, to be honest. I also want to note that this time I started up a offline versus against my second controller. So I'm not using arcade mode for this achievement. Now, as I mentioned before, you just want to shake the stick left and right and keep spamming L. Eventually, you're going to type in the cheat code correctly. You'll know when it works because all of their clothes is going to burst off. And you're going to get an achievement called Who Needs Armor for 20 Gamer Score. Okay, so next we're going to be going for the Skirt Destroyer achievement. It's worth 60 gamer score. To do this, we're going to start up a match in offline versus once again. But you want to make sure to pick Candy and you're going to select any random opponent. 
Now, what we want to do is win 10 times in a row. So you need to get a 10 win streak. Basically, what we're doing here is trying to get the skirt armor off for the achievement. But to get the skirt armor off, you need to have a 10 win streak. And then you need to put in the cheat to remove the armor. So once you have your 10 wins, we're going to start up our 11th fight. And then you want to input the cheat once again to remove the armor. Again, that is right, left, right, left, and then left trigger. You can just spam it. Eventually, all of the armor is going to come off. You're going to get the Skirt Destroyer achievement for 60 gamer score. And there we go, guys. So next, we're going to be working on the Armor Destroyer achievement. To get this one, we're going to start up another match in Offline Versus. To get this achievement, we simply need to break our opponent's armor. So just start up a match. I pick Candy as my character. And then the character that I decide to face is going to be Sandman. And pretty much what we're going to keep doing here is kicking our enemy until the armor breaks. It should break at the end of the second round. Once his armor breaks, you're going to get the achievement called Armor Destroyer for 40 gamer score. Okay, next we're going to be going for the Wall Breaker achievement. This is for breaking a wall with the enemy. To do this, we want to start an offline versus. I recommend picking Bon. And then the character that we want to face is Picky. I should also mention that you should put the time limit up maybe at 30 or 45 seconds just because if it's only at 10 seconds you might not be able to hit the wall as many times as you would be able to by depleting the whole life bar. After that you want to execute Bond's high kick attack. To do this you want to hold the left stick in the northeast position that's the upper right position and then press B. If you do this correctly, he'll do a high kick attack, and this attack is really going to help in effort to break that wall. The wall should break towards the end of the second round, and you're going to get an achievement for 40 gamer score called Wall Breaker. Alright, and the next achievement we're going to be going for is to get a perfect in arcade mode. We're going to cheat our way through this one. What we want to do is start up arcade mode. You can pick any character you want, and when the first round starts up, you want to press start on your second controller. This is going to have you play your second controller. And what you can do is just beat the second controller without getting hit at all. And that's going to unlock the achievement for getting a perfect in arcade mode. This should be a lot easier than getting this naturally. However, you can try to get it naturally if you want. But once you get that perfect round, your achievement's going to pop 440 gamer score called perfect. All right, guys. So at this point, we only have four achievements left. They're all related to advancing in arcade mode. We have achievements related to advancing to stage 1, 2, 3, and then finally for completing stage 4. Now what I personally recommend is selecting Mahler. He is the secret character. Again, he is to the left of Grace on the character selection screen. Once you select Mahler, all you want to do is hold forward and keep spamming Y. That's the punch attack. He has a really easy forward punch combo that's going to help defeat all of your enemies easily. Of course, you also want to make sure that you're playing on the easiest difficulty and 10 second rounds. Other than that, guys, you should have your full completion 400 gamer score in Fighting Vipers. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.